saying that, you know, what do we know about the black Hebrew Israelites and their, and their extremist hatred for Jewish people? You feel what I'm saying? That's all the articles that you see that are popping up right now. What makes you an extremist? What do you have to do to be labeled an extremist? You told the truth? So, so since white people hate us, are, all they, are they all extremists? Yes. Now, by their definition, what do you have to do to be an extremist? Excuse me, so do you hate us? No, I don't hate you. I love you. Do you hate us? Do you hate us? Please don't talk to him. Don't, he, he, Please don't talk to him. He's still out the lunch. He's still out the lunch. Huh? He's still out the lunch. He ain't came back from came back off the lunch. He ain't came back from Russia in 72, bro. He's in life from 1972. Hey, what's up, y'all? He in a time machine. He not used to seeing black folk yet. He a slave owner or something. What's the word? Tell us the word. Walking in Tel Aviv. Walking in Tel Aviv. We try to tell you. We keep fat. What's up? Yeah, bro. Hey, hey, hey. You know your nationality according to the Bible? Man, look. Tell me. What's my nationality? What's your dad? More? Oh, you said more? More? You said more? Yeah. You know what a more is? You tell more me. More bullshit. Okay, what's, you know what's, what's real it's, then? It's more crap, right? You know what I'm saying? It's more bad names. It's more by laws. It's more It's more uh, by names or by words, right? It's more fake falseness. You feel what I'm saying? That's all a more is. A more is just a word that they use to, to basically say we was more than black. Which which uh the, the actual term for more than black is Hebrew Israelite. That's right. <laughs> Now, that's that's no, all a more no, is. No, 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 not yet. Let him listen. Hold up a second. So, so a more, if you are a more and your dad is a so called African American, you will be from the tribe of Judah. The that's same right. tribe as the man who they call Christ, right? Whose real name is Hamashiach Yahawasha. Because there was no letter J until 1632, so his name can't be Jesus Christ. So every time you say Jesus Christ, you're praying to, to the white boy, Cesare Borgia, the son of Pope Alexander the, the, the Fourth. Pope Pius the second. Tell, tell the Get why. Barnabas to stop teaching. What's up, bro? No, let him listen. I ain't not, I ain't seen nothing around here, right? But guess what? And you said it's all white. I'm not gonna say black. We are equal. No. No. How the hell would come up? Why you even let him open his mouth? Where you from? He drunk. No, that is true. Where you from? He's from Africa. Okay, look. Hey, hey, check me out, guys. Check me out. Check me out. Hey, hey, hey. Drop what you got. Give me Exodus 11 and 7. We'll get back to the Jersey City. G -g give me Exodus 11 and 7, right? Because y'all probably have been taught that we're African, right? But that's what the slave master has taught you, right? Um, who has a zombie fan Bible dictionary? Anybody? Huh? I don't believe no slave master. You don't believe no slave master, right? So, so tell me this. You can't call yourself black. You can't call yourself a black or more, right? Wow. Yeah, okay, because you're brown, just like the, right, the just dude said, right? Brown. I said white. You can't call yourself brown either because what uh what what plane can I catch to the land of brown, brother? Ah, you understand right. me? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can't hey, yo, catch a plane yo, to black. Yo, you can't catch yo. a plane to brown, and yeah, you can't catch a plane to Africa, America, plans, right? Yeah, you can't. So what's our real nationality, right? You That's can't catch a plane to Blackamore, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Hey, the you can't catch a plane to Egyptology. You feel me? The yeah. e like, uh, 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 um, uh, Egypt's already been ransacked, right? Yeah. The Muslims live there now. Yeah. We can't go back there. You feel what I'm saying? But that's what we were slaves at. We don't want to go there anyway, right? Nah, Our true nationality is the Hebrew Israelites. That's right. Uh, right? So, well, 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 hold up. Yeah, see, if you're a Moor, you don't believe in the slave trade. Do you believe that there was a slave trade that brought people to America? Hell no, man. All right, so I'm going to prove that to you first, okay? Uh. Because um, here's the thing, right? Uh, yeah, first first, give me Exodus 11 and 7. And then give me Amos chapter chapter uh, 1. I got it, I got it. And verse eight. This is the book of Exodus chapter 11 and verse 7. Hey, bring it out. But against any of the, of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Right, so it says against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Right. Brave, against man or beast against man or beast and before I continue oh, I you have to accept some form of Israelite if you're a Moor because the Moors believe in a Moabite Israelite Canaanite yeah. type of uh, philosophy right so the reason Israelite is there is because Noble Jr. Ali went to the Middle East he went to, to Israel he went to Africa and found out the same thing that Arthur Windsor the, 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 the writer of Timbo of a Babylon and Timbuktu, he found out the same things that he found out that we were the true people of Israel right? Right. the other thing was he found out that we are the and that we also conquered other lands and went by other names. So he just decided to call us by the last name we were called, which was Blackamore. Right. But that's not our true name. We're actually the Hebrew Israelites, and he yeah. knew this. 
That's why he's not going anywhere because uh, he basically taught a lot. He's, he's teaching us a false name and created his own book to teach that false name, which was the seven letter Quran, right? My great grandfather was a Moor and a Mason, so I know how the whole thing goes, right? That ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israel. So, um, and Israel. right, it says that he puts a difference between Egyptians and Israel. So, Satan's left already, but, but the African dude that came up here, well, 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 I'm saying he can't see me though. So, uh, he. He is an African, right? He's an Egyptian. You feel me? Yeah. We're Israel. The Bible tells you there's a difference between us. So he said we're equal because that's what him and the white man have taught us as the part of their pact, their uh, crafty council that's also in the Bible, Psalm 83. Somebody grab that, that's right? right. That's but first, right. we're going to prove to you that the white man knows we're not African, right? And we know we're not African according to the Bible. The Bible just told you we're not. There's a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. Yeah. We're Israel. We're the chosen people. They're, they're African. If you look at the skull types of a, a Negro and an African, right? A Negro and somebody from Kenya or a real Egyptian, a black one, our skulls are different. So how can we be the same people? If you look at a Filipino and a Japanese person, they got the same damn skull. Right? All right. Go ahead. This is the Donovan, Donovan uh, both got Down syndrome. Go ahead. Compact Bible. <laughs> Definition of ham. The youngest son of Noah. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. So this is him, right? The African man. This is who they teach us we are in the church, right? They teach us we're African. Him is the real name of Africa, right? Africa is a name that comes from a white man. So you call yourself an African is a, is a you call yourself a cracker anyway. You understand right. what I'm saying? Because uh, Leo Scipio Africanus is the man who killed Hannibal and was able to conquer Africa, and that's why it's called Africa. You understand what I'm saying? And we call ourselves African American. America is America best Vespucci. This is mine. The water. I was looking for this earlier. Where you found this? Damn. How are All right. Yeah. Uh, so, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. Uh -huh. So him was one of eight persons to live through the flood, right? I know you probably don't believe in the flood, but it happened. There's proof that it happened, and the white man's just been hiding it, but you can find it if you look deep enough, right? But the white man's been hiding it because of certain things they didn't want you to know. Just like they hide the fact that they know, uh, well, they know everything about us, right? They got bones and all that type of stuff. They know who the real people of Israel are. They just aren't telling you because, it, but it's only so much they can hide. Because there's, there's Russian icon books that tell you who the people are, and brothers have bought that book and put the pictures on the internet so you can find out who they are, you know what I'm saying? You can get copies of the book if you know where to look, you feel what I'm saying? There's um there's statues and all that type of stuff all around the world that prove the places that we uh, uh, conquered and that we lived in, which is why you believe in the Moorish science, because right. the Moors know that, that we lived in other places and that we conquered places that the white man lives in now, so they know we must have been in those areas before the white man, right? So, so the whole thing is, um, they're teaching you the false name though. When we were in those lands, when we were in Germany, when we were in England, when we were in, in uh, Russia, you know what I'm saying? When we were in all them places that the white man inhabits now, Rome, you feel what I'm saying? Greece, Italy, you feel me? We, we, we were there. When we were in all those places ruling, we didn't call ourselves uh, black Yeah, I don't believe that. We called ourselves Hebrew Israelites. That's right. And when it was a time period where we couldn't call ourselves Hebrew Israelites, then we called ourselves Greeks. Or whatever the hell it was that we were uh, uh, known 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 for, yeah, uh, whoever the conqueror was at that time, hey, you right? You got a point, cause uh, like the first, you know, like philosopher they say was what, so what Socrates or something, but we really know that. Philosopher was uh, um, uh, Solomon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> no, no. But they said he was Greek though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. I just yeah, want to give him a name that sounds like Socrates. He asked you something though. Huh? Yeah. No, Socrates wasn't the first one. Um, I know, that's what that's my point. Yeah. You know, but it wasn't. He's their first first uh problem. But when he because like in one of like if I'm not mistaken, in one of Socrates' uh, scripts, he said he got taught by somebody that was brown, right? Of course. Yeah. They all got taught by somebody that was brown. <laughs> hey, they was they take showers because of us, bro. <laughs> they smell like dog when they get wet for a reason. They was in caves for a long time. Hey, you're right. Hey, hey, there was a school in Alexandria, Egypt, that all the Greek philosophers were making pilgrimage to. Yeah. And there are famous people that you know, like Pythagoras. Yeah. He learned Pythagoras' theorem from mathematics from our people. He had to make that pilgrimage because we had a, a huge library over there. Right. All right. These people, I mean, this world, brother. These people have created nothing. They borrowed everything. It is wrong, brother. And they taught you that you've never known anything. Stole everything. Ah, man, you know, I ain't believe that. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so look, 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 look. The African-American is not... 
African American, right? Yeah. We're not from Africa. We're from Israel. The white man knows this, right? right? He became the progenitor of the dark races. So they said Ham was the progenitor of the dark races, right? But not the Negro. Wait, what? But not the Negro. So he's the progenitor of African. He's the progenitor of everybody from Africa except the Negroes. And they tell us we come from Africa, don't they? Yeah. But we got off the ship as Negroes, right? So obviously we're not from that part that they call Africa. Because they're telling us in this book that they made Zondervan's a cracker. This is a Zondervan Bible Dictionary. The white man's Bible Dictionary. And he's telling you, these niggas are not him. Right. <laughs> but the Egyptians. He's the father of the Egyptians. Ethiopians. Really Africans. Ethiopians. Like the brother behind you. Go ahead. Million. Uh -huh. And Canaanites. Yeah, right? So these are real Africans, right? Real actual Africans. That's the father of him. We're not from him. We're from Shem, That's right? right? We can't be anti-Semitic because we're the real Shemites. That's right. right. You feel me? So, um, what I wonder? I said I was going to show him something. Amos 1. Yeah, Amos 1, right? The slave trade. You feel me? I'm going to show you that in the Bible. Yeah. You feel me? Well, I got your time. Go ahead. Oh, you wanted that Jew? Nah, that's both. They go together. Huh. This is the book of Amos, chapter 1 and verse 3. Thus saith the Lord, for three transgressions. It's like your note. Nine and nine. The book of Amos chapter one and verse nine. Verse eight. And I will cut off the habitation of Ashdod. He will cut off the habitation of Ashdod, right? Ashdod is the people who got killed in this Jersey City shooting that they are that they're framing to be on the black Hebrew Israelites. You heard about the Jersey City shooting? Yeah. So right now what they're doing is they're trying to make us look bad, right? Because we're telling the truth about the uh, fake Jews, right? The Bible already tells you that there's going to be people that are fake Jews calling themselves real Jews. Somebody got that from uh, Revelation uh, 2 and 9. Um, go ahead. Come on. But, but also, right, he's, he's going to punish those people because they're lying, right? Because they stole our identity, because they're basically using the other white people to keep us in in uh, subjection, right? So that they can stay at the top of the world, right? And that's why Brother Blasio is doing what he's doing, right? Yeah. Brother Blasio is Italian and Jewish, I believe. And he's married to a black woman. So he's a coon. Well, I mean, he has a coon that rose into prominence, and now he gets to work for the white man and do what he really wants to do. And that's what he's showing. He's showing his true colors right now. Come. And him that holdeth the sceptre from Ashkelon, and I will turn my hand against Ekron, right. and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish. Right, so... So um, uh, um, these are white nations, right? Um, Edom and all that stuff, Ashkelon. The Philistines are Africans, right? Because we're not Africans. You feel what I'm saying? I believe Ekron is too, or Ekron, Edom, one of them. Uh, but, yeah, go ahead and read nine. Verse 9. Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Tyrese and for four. So Tyrese is uh, Africa, right? Those are Hamites. You feel me? Ham had sons. One of his sons was Tyrus. You feel me? So Tyree is is an African. So he's saying for the transgressions of the Africans and for four because they did too many. They didn't have too many transgressions, right? They did a lot of things to us in the past, but this is too much. What they do? I will not turn away the punishment thereof. The Most High is not going to turn away the African man's punishment. Why? Because they delivered up the whole captivity to Edom. Because they delivered our whole captivity to the white man, right? Exactly. Edom is the white man. They have books on it. We have books on it. Everybody got books on it. If you look up who the Edomites are, it's going to come back that they are the crackers, right? The oppressors. You understand me? Yeah. And remember not the brotherly covenant. And, and they didn't remember... Uh, they didn't remember the brotherly covenant. So the African dude was trying to say we're brothers, we're equal. No, we're not brothers, we're not equal because they sold us to the white man. That's why we over here. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. We're over here because you sold us to them. Yeah. You get to come here on a visa. We're here because we got put into slavery. That's right. Thus said the Lord, for three transgressions of Edom and for four. And for the white man, they can't get away either, right? Go ahead. I will not turn away the punishment thereof, uh -huh. because he pursued his brother with the sword. They're supposed to be our brother, but they pursued us with the sword, right? And we were able to go into hiding. We put them into captivity. They were able to take over. We went into hiding in Africa, and then they did what? And did cast off all pity, uh -huh. and his anger did tear perpetually, and he kept his wrath forever. Right. He kept his wrath forever until he found us, right? Then he made that deal with the African, which allowed them to put us in slavery. You understand what I'm saying? which allowed them to get what they're going to be punished for, right? Sell us to the white man. Sell the whole captivity to Edom. You feel what I'm saying? That's what they did. So that's the situation we in. That proves that there was a slave trade. 
So the people that are African, what they're doing is they're trying to make y'all think that y'all are the real uh, Native Americans. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because they know that that that, that uh, Columbus had records of natives being brown skinned with woolly hair sometimes. It wasn't all the time, sometimes. Yeah. And it was only in one region of the whole United States, the southeastern region of the whole United States, right? And a little bit of the Midwestern North, like where New York is and Jersey and stuff. You feel what I'm saying? But everywhere else was basically mixed or black. Mixed looking or black. You feel what I'm saying? Ethiopian kind of, they said. They had like, 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 like Ethiopian hair with brown skin tone until the white man started mixing with it. You feel what I'm saying? Everywhere else. You feel me? So, uh, the people who, who made up the Moors that made up that whole thing didn't even have all the information right, first of all. You know what I'm saying? I know because my dad's a Comanche. I'm a real native. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um, this brother's probably native too. And this brother's a Seminole. So you're looking at three niggas right now that are natives. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, cash, yeah. Because right. I could right. possibly be Judah too. It is what it is. So, um, so yeah, so that's that. You feel me? Hey, hey, get that brother a flyer. Y'all got a flyer? Yeah, he got a flyer. Don't, don't let nobody tell you that black people sold their own people. Yeah, okay. we did. There's a difference between yeah. us. Y'all are a nation of people. There's no country called black. You are That's a right. nation of people. Yeah. The Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Judah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You're a holy people unto the Most High your God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And you're above all people that are upon the face of the earth.